yes, finally, finally. So of course we're back with another Duck Map video. So yeah, we got some new news right here. We finally got Ella Janekla. Finally after like maybe a couple like two or three days because uh, we all expected it was going to be on um, Sunday. It's on Monday right now. So let me see, make sure what time is this? Okay, yeah, it's Monday, July 19th. Um, Because now I know Duck got the part two for Global, part two for their anniversary and I already got the video uploaded. Now, but I will upload this video afterwards as well, though, just kind of like getting it back to back. Um, but yeah, though, um, Alleged Jump was finally in the game and stuff like that. It took him oof, almost like a couple of days and stuff like that. It was a real long process, like, we had to wait and stuff like that. A lot of people were like, like, when is Alleged Jump coming out? He did come out at 5 o'clock in the morning for me. He usually, even before I dug him for their part two, when LR17 and Golden Freezer got revealed at the same time, um, I believe they had, um, I'm trying to think of it. Uh, they came out like at what, like 9 p.m.? I remember I was actually, I, I remember it was so stupid. I came up here, I was like, okay, got nothing to record, no new LRs for part two right now, maybe tomorrow or whatever. I think it's like a Sunday. Um, then I was like, okay, I'm gonna just go come up here. I got had Papa John's pizza, literally had that, and a couple of wings. I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit down here, relax, we'll put my plate over here. And then, like, the moment I came upstairs, it's like, oh yeah, they're already revealed. I'm like, I left for like what, two, three minutes to heat up my food? Come on already. So, yeah. Ella Jump is finally a thing on um, JP and so that. I was about to say global. So, yeah, for the Tana Bottom Part 2, they are getting this. Um, it should be getting easy A for um, Great Salmon 1 and 2. Um, that should be a thing already. I already have the campaign video recorded and stuff like that. I just gotta get it ready to go for YouTube. Um, again, um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I say, yeah. Um, but, yeah, though. Uh, LJ was finally a thing now. Um, again, I guess him and Goji are just guess weren't with Doki Fest worthy, I assume. Because I know a lot of people really want like a Doki Fest LR kid to go through because when he first came out, a lot of GP players wanted him to be an LR. So him and Dimmy getting picked low. We'll probably end up being LRs later. I mean, Dimmy getting picked already has one, but Kid Goku will probably gotta get his own Doki Fest or whatever. I don't know. I feel like they deserve Doki Fest LRs because Dragon Ball is heavily underutilizing dice, just Doki really badly. Even Legends of it. So, sometimes they have like a, maybe like an EX or whatever though, but yeah, like really, I'm. Like unprecedented and stuff like that, though. So yeah. Um, but yeah, though. Um, so bring this up here, I guess. Um, for but I actually haven't read details or anything like that. I know about Zero Skull already. He's actually really good. I have to do like the Zero Skill. Uh, we have his Rage Mode down here as a separate card right here. So this is Rage Mode. You can tell the stats and stuff like that. They have to do that now in the game. Where basically the second, I think one of these tabs right here, um, have like you know his like I think it's this one right here. You can tell because it's glowing just like that. You can definitely tell the tab right here. Uh, when it's glowing, um, right here, it's um next in this a little bit. Uh, when you have it uh, right here, uh, it tells you like the range mode and stuff like that. You can actually see it now in the game and stuff like that though. So um, you guys see the range mode. I love this card art right here. This is actually really good. But yeah, it kind of looks like I know Hydra said it, it looks, it looks like fan art. It kind of does. I feel like I expected maybe more like, like flames or something like that. Kind of like this a little bit though. But um, overall, I think it's actually really good though. Of course, card art and stuff like that. I think it's actually really solid and good though. So yeah. Um, but yeah though. Um, I, think, I know we have like his rage mode and stuff like that right here. I do have another tweet right here. I think it's just like, um, I think they updated and changed some stuff because I think his pass, I think they changed some part of his passive right here because I think originally it was different right here, I believe. I definitely know it was different right here though. So yeah. I'm um, totally going to full breakdown for the nip and stuff like that, of course. Oh no, I just figured I posted those two images because they had them separately. Um, so yeah. Um, it's kind of weird because Doken, like, it's really weird because with Doken and stuff like that for JP, they always tweet out, like, he's always. Like, they always put all the tweets up into one big bundle, unlike Global, where they just separately have them all separate, like, you know, Super Attack, SA, all that stuff. It's a little bit more easier to be on Global, even though it's all separate, but it's a lot more easier to get it kind of more organized a little bit. In my opinion, I feel like it's a little bit more organized. I mean, that's kind of simple and stuff like that. So yeah, for Jim Nippon's leader scope, of course, he is physical. I was hoping he was going to be anyway, though, so yeah. Street physical has got a lot, a lot of buffs in, like, the last year. Um, but yeah. I mean, celebration-wise, I don't know why I put this up. I, I don't know why I thought of this. I said celebration-wise, Yoga has been really good this year. It has, because Golden Week is really good. Anniversary is really good. Um, Tanabot is really good. Again, I feel like those three celebrations are actually really good. Um, this, especially this year with the sixth year. I feel like that and Tanabot are some of the best celebrations right now for their Indo history. Like, I believe those are some of the best, better, slash, better celebrate the better slash better. Some of the best slash better celebrations, again, like last year. I mean, for Doken, for me, Global is kind of blacky because we got all those 2020 celebrations and those kind of didn't really hit the mark, but someone might have hit the mark a little bit. I don't know, just a little bit, but um, yeah. So for this go, it's body, um, Crota Body and Mind or Movie Boss 64, everything on 150. Thank God, not 130. I hate those little skills. I'm like, truth, I just, it's like, Link at 130 is good, but it's also like, eh? But yeah, um, I'm actually stuck a little bit. Um, but yeah, 
Um, anyways, so like I said, Lear Skill's really good. I like the, um, one, I'm out of voice, because I was like, Lear Skill! Um, <laughs> yeah, um, 150 next to okay. Uh, so he is basically, um, I said, I said Savage, um, Berserk or Savage Strike, or something, whatever. Um, 12 key, cost of damage, lower defense, bleh. Um, uh, 18 key is Mega Cost of Damage, lower, Great Lowest Defense. That sucks right there. I can kind of agree. I know True said that. I saw the video. Yeah, I agree that sucks. It should have been like, at least attack defense. Because Great Lowering Defense and Lowering Defense doesn't do anything anymore in the game. At this point, it's just... Every villain gets that, but every hero like lowers attack. So, yeah. I mean, breaking your defensive wall isn't good. Like, nothing. Unless you're doing like the Broly event. Otherwise, it's like completely pointless. It's... At this point, they gotta know that's really pointless. Like, Mega Lowering Defense or like... Just, Lowering defense in general. I said make a lowering defense. Lowering defense in general and stuff like that. It's just I don't know. Just really I don't know. Not, not that really impressive to me. Um, for his passive, does attack defense plus one twenty at start of a turn. Act, um, guard, act, guard activated. Guard activated against all types at the first or second attack around the turn. Gains one key and attack defense plus twenty two percent. Um, every time when the character as as in the second or third attack or in the turn. Um, gets max up to 6 key, the key goes up to max six, uh, 6, and of course 66% six, six attack and defense. High chance of nullifying um, blast, um, blast based super attacks aimed at the character, at this character. Okay, he's fairly simple, he's fairly simple. Again, every number isn't like, a lot of people are going to go on about this. Every number in the game isn't bad because they all have like guard. Uh, I know the AGO one that changed the he actually is pretty solid as well. I remember when he first came out, a lot of people used him. He actually was really solid. Um, but yeah, like I said though, um, yeah, um, Garden gets all attacks, again, it's always a great thing for Janepa, and then, like, Goji effective gets all typings. Every Janepa has been like this, like, every Janepa is good, and, you know, the same update and stuff like that, they're not gonna connect well, but, um, you get, like, fat, you, you, can, you can basically run a whole team of Janepas right now at this point, though, so, yeah. Him, uh, nullifying Blast, Super Attack, is not, like, like, crazy or whatever, because he did do that in the movie, like, he was countering Vegeta and Goku Blast 24-7, so it makes sense, and they're, like, little, yeah, because he did a lot, so it makes sense, stuff like that. Again, with the new meta and stuff like that, which is, you, you had a counter melee based super attack, like weapon based super attack or whatever. I don't like it as much. I do and I don't at the same time. I don't mind it, like, you know, having different types of super attacks, but it's also like this character only gonna, is going to apply like weapon super attacks, um, counter super attacks like Gogeta, and like, I don't know, I feel like this meta is kind of like, it's good and it can be bad at the same time because you're going to have characters, again, who mainly like do like only like blast super attacks or melee super attacks or whatever. He does have a rage mode as well. It activates able to use um, once six or more turns have um, executed from the start of battle when he has um, 66% or above. Only once. Okay, not bad though. Yeah, and just rage mode and stuff like that. <laughs> That's all the voices. So yeah, links are big bad bosses, shocking speed, metamorphosis, brutal beatdown, fear and faith, fierce battle, legendary power. Really good links. Again, Janimba has like him and Goku Black have like one of some of the best links that's in the game because he has shocking speed, which actually is pretty solid on some units. He has big bad bosses, which actually is really good. Metamorphosis is a really good healing link. Um, but yeah, link, link, link level ten, uh, just auto like attack defense plus twenty five percent is actually really good. Just that's good. Uh, categories of movie bosses, transformation boost, greater body and mind, exploding rage, because he has a whole rage mode and stuff like that. Also, when he goes to his rage mode, oh yeah, I didn't read that that note, so yeah. Uh, categories are really solid, again, this is little minor stuff, because he's going to be working well with movie bosses, but looking, not really with other Janembas, but it's, having synergy with other Janembas, and just like, in general, like, you know, because um, I know a lot of people have like, Alec of Black on here now, um, which actually, he's essentially, yeah, because he's basically on movie bosses now, because he has both. Kind of like, not both leader skills, but Corner Body and Mind with Goku Black is actually be really good. Because I like Goku Black doesn't really have any key. But with this, you know, but he's going to link up really well uh, with, I think, Big Bob Bosses and I think Fear and Faith. Because I like Goku Black does not have to prepare for battle. Which kind of hurts them a little bit, though. But overall, they're really good. Passive does, um, gains one for the reach, um, of course, transforms his rage mode. Gains one key in additional or, um, in addition for each key sphere attained. For each key sphere attained. So he gets one key for every key sphere he gets. Well, look at that. That's really underrated ability. Uh, it was like, it was like two or three. There's no LR Go on has it. The, um, so STR Super Vegito has it. I think what made that really, like, that ability is underrated. So basically, every time he gets a key, he'll get, like, you know, additional key. Um, for, like, every key spray he gets. Uh, 12 key now does destructive damage and temporarily gains a high chance to perform a crit. Okay, that's actually really good. It gives it only to be, like, used for, like, one or two turns. Um, his 18 key does destructive damage and temporarily gains a high chance to perform a crit. Okay, basically, pretty much about the same thing. Okay, that's actually really good there. Oh my gosh, that's actually really good. Again, um, with the same new update, the characters will not link well, but overall, though, I'm really good all stuff there. Like, really, really good. Like, I really like that. It's actually really great. Um, in my opinion, though. So, yeah. Um, Janepa overall seems pretty solid though. Again, again, like every Janepa is going to guard and stuff like that. For him getting key and stuff like that, really good. Again, the first or third attacker or whatever. Um, 
Not that bad though. Again, really, really good stuff right there. So that's actually really good though. Um, but yeah though, um, Link Set's really amazing. Every unit of Link Set though is really good. Categories are gonna be kind of icky, but every transformation, like every unit who transforms, is gonna be on transformation boost regardless though. And that is still my favorite category in the game. I don't care. I love the character transformations. I love the animations. I love the characters. You get like mix and match like you're a hero and villain and stuff like that. I don't care. Even exchange boost is good. I admit that. Even Tech Janemba is still good. I don't care anybody says. I still like those units. I might be. I hate the transformation condition. Like oh, he had to wait for like six or seven to get his whatever. But yeah. Um. Again, him critting and stuff like that once he transforms. He basically is going to be critting going for seven though. So again, you probably only see it once or twice, like the gradient mechanic. But him and Rose have the best ones in the game because Rose does a lot of damage. Janemba is just going to be a great above that. His defensive stat is actually really good too. Like that base. Um. 10,000. I know Truth mentioned that as well. That's really freaking good. Like, they made that insane. I don't know what they were thinking with Janemba. I'm satisfied. He could be... I feel like he's, like, one of the best, um... Um... Units in the game. Like, villain units. I can agree he's one of the best in the game. Him, Buhan, um, El Goku Black can be placed hard on there. AGL Goku Black. Rose can be really good. Physical Go Goku Black's really good. Again, they made Janemba really solid. I'm, I'm satisfied with the villain. Again, our villains for LRs, they make them actually really good. Hero units, we all expect, you know, attack plus 5,000 immense damage and... We don't bug that already, though. So, yeah, pretty much good. Go ahead and end the video there. I'm satisfied with Janepa. I think he's good. His rage mode is really good. Again, he should be in about 15, 14 more hours. He is filling Ella Janepa. <laughs> yeah, he's filling Ella Janepa slot from last year. He's filling out um, Ella Jr.'s time slot from last year. A little bit late, though, but whatever. Again, they wait like a day or two. They always usually like, wait like a day or whatever or two. They always usually do that. Um, then we get, of course, we're getting the EZA. It's like last year we got the Topo and Dispo EZA. Makes sense and stuff like that. Again, I saw. I don't know if it would draw on Dispo. He could have been a really good EZA. Topo's really good. The, I don't know. Dispo had a really nice skill. So, yeah. Alex El Dispo is here. He's great. He's hype. Oh! See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good job again, though. Make sure we stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless. I'll be if you're going out on a war match. And play paper really, really well. What do you guys think about all this info, though? Of course. Did you like it? Hate it. I think Dispo's good. He's really good. They made him insane. I don't know what they were thinking with this guy. They made him good. I'm satisfied with Dispo. Um, if he comes out for global, like, later, later on down the line, you have know, Sparching and stuff like that. Like, in later ticket banners, I'm not going to be mad if I pull this up with that. Again, we still have to see his SSR and TR art. Man, does going to be looking good. Because uh, for Gogeta, this year, they made his SSR and TR art really good. Really good stuff. I'm hyped up. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Nope. Peace out.